the Gloucester candlestick absolutely fascinates me because of the filigree work and the figures that have gone into it. So it sort of starts at the bottom with very demonic looking people and demonic looking animals. And as you sort of go up the body of the candlestick, they change to a slightly more refined sort of figure. And as you go along the stem, almost towards the top, there is the symbols of the four evangelists. And I guess that is sort of showing the soul or the person moving upwards towards their redemption. And then eventually, as they cross that, you get to the top of the candlestick, which is supposed to be the light. At the very lower levels of the demonic aspects of human nature. And to me, that particularly fascinates me because in Hinduism, we have come to believe that there is 330 million forms of God who represent every single thing in nature. So some of these gods represent not very nice things in human nature, but they're still referred to as God as opposed to as demons. Some of them are actively malevolent gods. They could represent everything from uncontrollable anger to a desire to murder, but they're still not referred to as demonic because they're part of what belongs inside the psyche of a human being, therefore a creation of God.